What's up with the Charles Big Boss? And we coming back with another before you buy a Burberry Hero. Like oh, the parfum. Ain't nobody listening to him. Bitch, I pop a perk, then I sleep. I've been having drinks as a kid. Everything he said, I didn't be. Burberry Hero is the flanker. And you know, they always doing these flankers, okay? Of the first Burberry Hero. The first Burberry Hero ain't even been out a year yet. I'm talking about it was released nine months ago before this came out. And they already came out with a flanker, okay? So I don't know if the Burberry Hero did real good numbers. And they was just like, let's go ahead and drop the parfum. But I feel like y'all need to take more time with y'all parfums, you know what I'm saying? And then y'all higher concentrations. It shouldn't take you nine months to come out with a flanker, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you should have just worked on this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, formula a little bit longer okay let's get into the design of the bottle and the unboxing experience so if you ever come across like a fake bottle or something you know big boss gotcha okay so this is what the box looks like okay regular ordinary box okay i didn't get the 3.3 fluent ounce i got the smaller one why only for the simple fact that i'm just doing this for the review i can't and I might take this back to the store, okay? I might not even keep this, you know what I'm saying? So it's no point to get that. That is the batch code and the barcode on the bottom for you guys to check out, okay? When you open it, there ain't nothing on the back either except like these words down there. If you wanna check out the words, screenshot that, you can read them. Open the box. I already opened the box already, so and I already been wearing this, so I know how I smell. So you know what I'm saying? It's in here, kind of pull it out. Dun, 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 dun. So that's how the bottle look. Oops. Yeah, that's how the bottle look, you know what I'm saying? Batch code and other sorts of things on the bottom of the bottle. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Okay, so the notes inside this fragrance is mainly pine needles and a whole bunch of different cedar woods, okay? This is a very 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 woody fragrance okay to the point where it's not sweet okay now you guys out there that like more masculine smells this is a very very masculine cologne okay now a lot of people like time force old wood right y'all like time for old wood because of that masculine smell i really don't like old wood all like that i like my sweeter fragrances but I know people out here that like that woody smell. If y'all like wood smells, okay? If y'all like the smell of mulch, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say like dirt, but mulch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, that, that, that wood shavings. Pick this up, you'll love it. I promise you, you'll love it, okay? It's stronger than the original. You know what I'm saying? Like the original, I didn't really get that much wood in there. I more so felt like it smelled like a cognac, like a little bourbon, you know what I'm saying? Like it smelled like a, like an alcohol beverage, you know what I'm saying? Like a shot of whiskey or something. That's what the original kind of smelled like. This still has that same whiskey smell feeling to it, but now it's, it's, it's darker, you know what I mean? And it's woodier, which means it's more like more richer, like mad rich, okay? This is kind of really good for like the fall time, like type of dudes I can see wearing this is maybe dudes that like, you know what I'm saying, that's more handy men. Y'all might be a carpenters. Y'all might be like farmers, you know what I'm saying? Like this is a great uh, rural smelling fragrance, okay? Like I can't stress that enough. Like that's what they kind of smell like this. One downside is I don't like the price point. It's too expensive for me, okay? Burberry. I don't look at Burberry like I look at Dior, you know what I'm saying? Burberry, y'all don't got that many fragrances that I like. Um, I don't look at y'all as like a high-end fragrance line. I feel like y'all prices should not be over $100. This right here for this small little bottle was $100, okay? To get the 3.3 fluent ounce bottle, you're paying $130. Okay, you could pick this up at Ultra, you know what I'm saying? That's the only place I've really seen it so far. It might be in dealers later. Kind of got to wait on that, but just right here I had picked it up and it was just smelling it. It just didn't grab me out the gate. Now, what I can say is, you know, designer fragrances all smell alike. They all, it's like they all copy each other when it comes to just aqua smelling fragrances, when it comes to date night smelling fragrances, you know what I'm saying? Fresh fragrances. 
they all kind of got that same similar DNA. It's just, you know, each brand makes their own slight little variation of it. This Burberry doesn't smell like nothing I smelt yet. I can say that. Like, it smells like a niche fragrance. It smells like something that Paul Farm de Mali would have made. You know what I'm saying? So it does smell different and expensive. But just because it's different and it's expensive doesn't mean it smells really good. Okay? Now, when it comes to the compliment factor, check this out. I haven't had it long enough to get no compliments. I wore it for two days. Did my little thug fizzle. I ain't get that many compliments, bro. And actually, my dude D said he ain't like it. I ain't really favoring it all like that. But, you know, colognes ain't for dudes. It's for girls. So we got to see what they like about it. But in my opinion, can I see a girl smelling this and being like, ooh, baby. Not, not in my opinion. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not in my opinion. I don't think this is going to be one of them real big compliment getters. This might be one of them like little low-key joints that... If you just like smelling woody and you like this scent for you, this for you, you know what I'm saying? Now, longevity on this is longer than the original, but it's still not masterfully long. You're gonna get about maybe like four hours on the skin, you know what I'm saying? After maybe like 30 minutes, it sits super close to the skin and that's about you go, that's all you're gonna get. All right, it's not projecting that heavy. Like right now, I sprayed it on my skin like three hours ago. I can still smell it very, very faintly you know what I'm saying? Like super faint. Like it probably don't even last four hours. It probably lasts only like three. You know what I'm saying? But it sits really close to the skin. So you got to give hugs with this. You're going to have to hug your girl. You know what I'm saying? You got to do a lot of embraces when you're wearing this Burberry Hero. Now, Hero or Zero? If I was going to rate this fragrance out of 10, I'll give this a four. Okay. Now, Another fragrance that this kind of remind me of a little bit, and I don't know why, is the Your Home Intense. Now, the Your Home Intense, I had to smell it on my, to put it on my wrist to make sure like, the Your Home Intense smells like way better than this, okay? So don't think I'm saying like, Burberry Hero is close to it. It's just something about that opening note. If you're trying to pick out which fragrance it can remind you of, it's going to remind you of Dior Home Intense, but it don't smell, it don't got that sweet note and that iris, the floral, they don't got all that. It just got that basic small top note, you know what I'm saying? So that's all you're really getting out of the top note with this. Could I recommend this? You could pass on this, okay? Now, I get Burberry is trying to become more fancy. They want to get out of that realm where they was making like Calvin Klein-ish fragrances when it comes to that rank level of fragrances. You know, we got like A tier to like maybe like like F tier, if we was good doing it like a scale, like a school scale system, and Burberry always kind of be like a D tier cologne. You know what I'm saying? I think they trying to move up to C tier, but hey, it's gonna be a while if y'all keep dropping stuff like this. I feel like y'all should focus on making the real fresh fragrances. Maybe come out with maybe a, 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 a older toilet of maybe y'all touch, like Burberry touch. Come out with a, not an older toilet, come out with a parfum, yeah, a Burberry touch, yeah. Come out with something like that. Let's see what y'all do with that. Uh, but coming out with this woody stuff right here, it's not really blowing my socks off. Okay. Now, if y'all like this review, I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, I love y'all. It's Burberry Hero. You know what I'm saying? Hero Zero, man. Did you smell it? Do you like it? Comment below. Let me know if this is something that you actually like. And if you do like this, tell me why. Because I need to know. You know what I'm saying? Because dog. Yeah, it ain't doing nothing for me. All right, I'm Big Boss. I catch y'all later. I love y'all. And I'm Bitch, I'm big boss. I'm a threat. Bitch, nigga, pipe down for our flex. I'ma put a whole lot of money on your dreads. Like a bowling ball, I put a hole in your head. Shit that you rap in your songs, I'll be lying.